Hi! Uh, oh, it's lovely to be recording a YouTube video. Um, today, I don't know, I've been through Instagram and I've seen that there is a launch of Fenty Beauty happening in Harvey Nichols. Um, I definitely know I'm now 31 because my reaction was not, <gasps> but it was, who gives a... Also, before we get cracking on this video on what I got for my birthday, what I got up to on my birthday, if you actually give a fuck what I got up to on my birthday, um, I wanted to tell you about the kind of morning that I'm having. Uh, this morning I went to brush my teeth, um, I stubbed my toe, and then I put the toothpaste on the toothbrush, and as I took the toothpaste off the toothbrush, I flicked the toothbrush like itself, which then proceeded to flick uh, a tiny bit of mentholated toothpaste in my eye. Um, this was possibly one of the most painful experiences I've been through. Um, I'm a gay man, I know exactly what pain is, um, and I suddenly thought I'm going to go blind on my own in my flat in London. Uh, pretty chronic. But luckily for you, I'm still here and I'm not wearing a patch! Woo! So yeah, it's been a birthday week. Today I was supposed to be in a field raving, drinking beer, um, but sadly my friend got food poisoning last night and had to phone me this morning and say that she couldn't come, so instead I'm left home alone. Going a little bit crazy, some would say. give you a little rundown of what I got up to for my birthday, uh, seen as I uh, haven't vlogged for a while and I know you lot are a nosy bunch of Parkers, so you like to know exactly what's going on in my life. Um, and I thought I'd kind of talk, I'm looking over here because they're over here, um, talk you through, including the kale chips actually, i tempted to go back for a little bit more of those, um, talk you through what my mates bought me because I got some lovely presents and some pretty insulting cards. Perfect! A large collection of paper material here. Um, love this one. You're my anchor. It's from my best friend Lucy, who sadly is uh, the one down with food poisoning. Uh, this one was hilarious. Forty and fabulous. Thank you to you. Soon to be deleted friend Grace. A miserable cat in front of smoking candles. Yes, understand that completely. Soul Matey, from my friend Michelle, who I gave away. I like anything nautical. This one uh, says, follow your dreams. Um, Jules, my love, my rock, happy birthday, lots of love. I don't know who this is. It's really annoying me. <laughs> so mystery, mystery card, if, you're, if I'm your rock, please text me because I don't know who this is. <laughs> I particularly enjoyed this one from my friend Sophie, who uh, said, I don't really understand why I bought you this card, but then I looked at it even more and I realised that you and I are the bear on the unicycle and the bear on the skates. Gifts. Um, I got bought this book called Near and Far. I'm not going to do posh close-up uh, shots because I can't be asked. Um, so yeah, Near and Far, a cookbook. Not a song about the lyrics from Celine Dion's Titanic album. Um, but it's very, it's very chic, very chic indeed. Um, lovely pictures like this of a woman in a hallway. Um, well, that's someone's kitchen. It's a coastal view. Uh, ooh, that looks delicious. Watermelon radish soup, rather. I bought myself this Goop Clean Beauty book uh, just on the off chance that it might make me look like Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, yeah, I'd quite like to look like that in a white dress on a beach, smiling, waif-like. Uh, ooh, kale chips. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll get me there. Sheila bought me a Kindle. I have been reading before bed. Um, huge shout out to 
unfinished book on Instagram who helped me pick a book that I'm reading at the moment. It's about a man, a wizard, who time travels through walls in London. I'm kind of enjoying it. I like mystical stuff like that. I got this little notebook from my friend Joe from Smythson, which says on the front, blah, 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 which I kind of think, yeah, that's pretty good for me. And Smythson is, oh God, look at that gold. It's painfully chic, painfully. Ooh. Oh, I just sheeped myself. <laughs> Sarah Powell uh, said that she didn't know what to buy me for my birthday, so I went shopping in the hope of finding something, and she bought me this green plate with a fox on it, with a bouquet of flowers on its tail. Last year she bought me a cheese board. I was like, do I have a shortage of surfaces in my house? She was like, no, no, no. I just thought you'd see this and think of me, which I definitely do. I love that girl. One very special person in my life bought me these Gucci shoes. Anyway, uh, yeah, so they come with a lovely little, uh, you can take these patches off like this and you can swap them for other patches. Um, yeah, I am obsessed with them. A monogrammed holdall. Someone said to me recently, I saw that your phone cover has JVH on it. I didn't know people actually monogram their own stuff. <laughs> Where have you been? How chic! But the chicest one of all has to come from Sheila, who sent me this little box of Betty's goodness. Now Betty's is a bakery um, in Yorkshire that sell, hold it, wait, these. This is the best cake I've ever eaten in my entire life. It is called a French Fancy, which is also the gayest cake I've ever eaten in my life. But inside a French Fancy, delish, um, is sponge and butter icing. My favourite cake is a birthday cake. It's like birthday cake, but in a small portion of guilt-freeness. Mm. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Look like Gwyneth, you say? Fat chance. What did I do for my birthday here, you cry? Her drinks, um, which turned into a huge party back at mine, which turned into a garden full of fag ends. Great. Um, and then I had a little dinner, a little bougie dinner, which then turned out in me potentially getting food poisoning. Not great. Um, and then today I was supposed to go to a festival, but I'm not. I might go to someone else's birthday, but I'm definitely not going to the launch of Fenty Beauty. I hope you've enjoyed this video. At the age of 31, I'm definitely going insane. Um, and I'm happy about that. I'm happy that I'm going a little bit crazy. Uh, perhaps it's because I'm living on my own. Perhaps it's because I'm now 31, I really don't give a shit what anyone thinks about me. Um, but perhaps it's because I realise that, well, I hope that I make you laugh even more when I'm slightly weird. Um, I love you, love you for watching, and I will see you in more weird and wonderful videos in my 31st year. Ciao! Oh, now where's that cake?